started in 1986, uh, but probably started a year before that, sort of buying a few scooters and some parts, and then decided to try and make a business of it. No, the, the, the collection came first and the business came afterwards, so we've been very lucky not to have to sell anything we've only got one of. So, as you can see when you look round, there's lots of things in here. Everything in this building on the, on the museum side is not for sale, with the exception of maybe two or three scooters. But if people want to buy some accessories, sometimes we have two of them, but uh, not always out on show. We, we'd average about 20, 30 a week, not, a, not massive crowds, but at the end of the day, you know, we are running it as a business as well, so it's difficult to show everybody around. I mean, if, if people are particularly interested, we show them the other parts of the buildings with other parts and memorabilia and everything else. Right, I mean, there's an unusual item, and there's plenty. I mean, I have upstairs uh, a slide that went in the cinema, which was an advert that the shop used to use for 1947. That's quite unusual. Uh, just proves how big Lambrettas were in those days. One of them is the ice cream one behind you, which is a, an FP3 wheeler, which I was trying to get one for a long time. Um, we think there's still only seven that we know of. They built 2001 originally, so obviously it's very difficult to find that and that was in 1949, so that was a difficult one to get. And the other things which are nice are the, the sort of paper things, some of the leaflets, some of the posters, because they were free when the people were given them, they didn't keep them and threw them out, so that is difficult to find. Well, I've got my father, Ron, who's uh, helped me for how many years now, Dad? There's several years, haven't you? And I've got my son James, who's at tech, but he's doing a bit of the computers in, in college, and he wants to do the computer here. Right, we used to do a lot of repairs. Nowadays, we, we don't do so many. We have a guy in one day a week um, to basically to repair our own scooters, but we can do, we do key cutting, for instance, which nobody else can do. We have the original masters. We offer a service to clean petrol tanks out. And obviously, we have a lot of knowledge, you know, when people get stuck for things and want to know how to repair things, uh, you know, things that we've picked up over the years that we can pass on to people. Well, everywhere, really. I mean, in the first instance in England, um, and then shortly afterwards I met Mike Carslake and uh, he put me in touch with someone in Holland and then from Holland a chap told me about Italy and then I started going to Italy but then we've been to Cyprus, Malta, Sweden, even Argentina, so a lot of places around the world. Right, what we're standing in here now is what I call my memorabilia room. But as you look around here there's lots of things like posters, there's magazines, over in the far corner is all the new parts that I've kept for myself. Whether I use them or not, I don't know, but they're all original Italian. There's leg shields for series ones, twos, threes, etc. Crankcases for the G, you know, GP200, but new original, not Indian ones. Um, and as you look around, I've got lots of rare things. Let me show you a few, a few things. Um, there's lots of things which Lambretta used to use, which were called printing blocks. And they used to send these out to the shops. And in turn, the shop would actually pay and have it put in a newspaper with their name. And I'll just show you, if you look at that one there, once it's printed out, you get nice pictures like that. And the printing blocks go back through all the years, um, going back from the LDs right the way through. Um, I've got things like all the calendars, right the way from, there's an example of them here, from 1955 right the way through to 1970. And these things are beautiful and very difficult to get because obviously in 1964, they would throw this calendar out and take the new one. But as you can see, very, very nice thing to get. Um, other things that are strange, there's something here called Lambretta, let me show you, scooter mitts. Now, these were made in the 60s, and if you look over here, is a, a his and hers. These are the actual cards that they were. And uh, you can see 37 shillings, which amounts, is all about one pound, uh, one pound 80, something like that, so of course, they weren't cheap in those days, but um, they always had that little bit of Lambretta on them. So things like that I've collected. Uh, and then we have a whole range of leaflets going from the A model right the way through all those things. We've got parts books, we've got handbooks. We've got another big selection of toys here, which are too many to go downstairs. Um, 
and then a lot of things to do with films. We've got film posters, we've got any records that had scooters, not just Lambrettas, I've got them there, but with Vespers and whatever. And then the, 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 the extra accessories, I mean, accessories are everywhere here, and obviously that's a big important thing to me. Um, so as you look around, there's so many things, it's hard to, to remember everything myself. I know most of everything I've got, but the things on the desk here, as you, as you look around, as I've acquired new sales brochures or new leaflets, I have to make sure I've got it before I'll sell it. Um, I'm a bit of a fanatic if it's got a different date or a different wording, I'll keep it. So sometimes I have three or four leaflets that look the same, but I can show you a difference. It's like spot the difference and, you know, it's interesting doing it. Through the early 80s it was it was very big in the UK and then because there was quite a bit of trouble in, on scooter rallies in, in 85, 86, bash 87, that the Rally Going Scooters created an organisation called the um, NRC and ID cars were produced and all this, which kind of like to a certain extent semi-killed scootering, but also the people were growing up, if you can imagine in the early 80s people were young, you know in the teenagers or they were getting into 19s, 20s, got married, had kids, had all the family thing and then they were dropping out of the scene as well because of the mortgages and everything else and the economy wasn't that good either. So through the early up through the early 90s, the 90s, early 90s, the scene kind of like went really downhill quite a bit. Um, but then the autos come along, Britpop and all sorts of things like that and a whole different culture of things came along and people were doing the kids, had the kid thing and were coming back into it. So all through the 90s it grew again and now it's huge again. But the problem is it's become a lot more regionalised. You know, we have a South West Scooter Club thing here and lots of people do that. You've got the North East, North West, London area and people don't seem to travel around like they used to anymore.